Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to log in to ESL Library if you have already created an account. So you put in your email address at the top and you put in your password. Once you've done that, press login. And you should go to your home page. We call this the home page. Now, I just want to show you some things that you can do on the home page. So over here on the top right, where it says Rosa, that's my name. If I click the down arrow, I've got my profile, my teachers, join a class, log out. Okay, now my profile is fairly important. I can change some things about my profile. Let's go to edit profile and we can click on it. And I can change where I live. So yours will probably say United States of America, USA. Please change it to Australia. If you want to change your email address or anything that you want to change, including your little avatar. Your avatar is your picture. Hmm, I think I will change it today. I want to be a fish. So I'm gonna change it to that. And then I have to press save. Oh, I hope it changed it to, oh yes it did. There it is, there's my fish. If I want to change my password, I can click here. But today I don't want to change it, I'm happy. Now the next one is my teachers. Now you can see I've got two teachers, Tina and Sue. Now, if you have a new teacher and your teacher wants you to join her class, this is where you go, join a class. Do not create a new account, just join a class. So you click on here, your teacher will give you a six character code. You put it in here and then you press join. But again today, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go back to my drop-down box. If you want to join a class only, you can also click here and it will bring you back here. So there are two ways to join a class. My teachers, join a class or join a class. Both of them will work for you. And of course, if I want to log out, I can log out. Now, I'm here and I want to go back to my home page. There are two links at the top. This one says ESL library. This one says assignments. They will both take you to your home page. I'm going to hit assignments. Okay, now I just want to show you a couple of things on this page. First of all, this is my to do. So I still need to do all of these activities and look, my teachers have been very busy. I've got two pages. You may have one page or two or three, but please remember to look down. So this one, I click on the next one and I'll get page two. And you can see here also, that I have two different teachers. So Sue is one teacher. She's given me two exercises to do. And Tina, my other teacher, her little picture is the rabbit. She's given me these. Plus, if I go back here to page one, she's given me all of these as well. All right, um, I'll just show you uh, these next two as well. Late means that um, a teacher has set a time for you to do something in. And if you are late, it will come here. But my one says, congratulations, I have no late assignments. But if you do, when an assignment is late, you will find it here, okay? Now, completed means that you have finished something. Let's have a look. Have I finished anything? Oh yes, I have finished one whole assignment. Okay, let's go back to to-do. 
And that's all that I want to show you in this little video. Please watch the next video and you will find out how to use and do some of the tasks in ESL Library. For now though, I'm going to log out.